Hello friends, welcome back to Crafting It with Nicole and if you're new here, hi, welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you four different DIY projects for Valentine's tear tray decor. Super easy and budget friendly. So for the first project, we're doing a wood heart frame. I got this frame at Dollar Tree and this pack of Valentine's cardstock paper. I've been having this for a while. I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby. Most of all the supplies that I'll be showing you here in this video today are from Dollar Tree. So for this project, it was super simple and easy to do, but it turned out so cute. I just got the heart that comes with the frame to reference the size on how big I need my cardstock paper to fit perfectly in that space. Now for this, you can use whatever picture you want or a, like I'm doing right now, a cardstock paper with a message on it and it will look great either way. I decided to go with the neutral colors just because I am going with the neutral Valentine's decor this year with hints of pink and red. But I decided to do it like this just because I can keep it in display if I wanted to and just change out the photo in the inside. As you can see here, I decided to paint only half of the frame so I can keep that natural wood on the top and then I decided to go with the Apple Barrel Glossy White Paint and then I just taped it down where I wanted and started painting. And if you haven't already watched my Valentine series videos, I will have it linked in the description below. So make sure you check those videos out. You will not regret it. There's a lot of Valentine's DIY inspiration ideas. Am I the only one that find this so satisfying just removing the tape and seeing that crisp line? Now, I've had these wooden beads and I believe I got them in a big pack from Amazon. I can have them in the description below. And I am just putting three on each side. Now this heart lace ribbon I got at Dollar Tree. I've used it for a lot of my videos now for Valentine's and I love it so much. It just looks so beautiful and delicate. So I decided to add it to my frame. Simple yet beautiful. And this is how my frame turned out. So jumping on DIY project number two, Valentine's Tag Decor. I got this tag at Dollar Tree. I loved it so much. They carry it in white and also in black. And I thought it would be the perfect addition for my tear tray decor. And I got the image from Cricut Design Space and the vinyl that I'm using is the permanent vinyl from Dollar Tree. How cute this tag turned out. It only took me less than five minutes to do and it will make a huge difference on my tear tray. For project number three, wooden hearts decor. I got these two hearts at Dollar Tree and I thought they were gonna be perfect addition to my tear tray. And I am painting one of them with this Apple Barrel Cameo Pink and they kind of look like a cookie to me. I don't know why. It just makes me think of one. I thought this pink was absolutely gorgeous. Perfect for what I'm going for. Now for the second heart, I decided to paint it with this Apple Barrel Red Apple. And the red was so bright, it was so beautiful. I loved it so much. And it will look great with the pink on the side. Now these two hearts, you can lift them as is, but I wanted to add a little bit more. So I decided to go on my Cricut Design Space and cut out this image, which I loved and it will look great on the heart. And I'm actually using the red permanent vinyl from Dollar Tree. For the red heart, I'll be adding this wooden love sign that I got at Dollar Tree and I thought it was going to be perfect to put in the middle of my red heart.
And this is how my two wooden hearts from Dollar Tree turned out. For DIY project number four, we're making a kissing booth stand. Now this, when I saw it, for me, it screamed kissing booth. I know it's a farmhouse decor, but you can make it into your own style with just a little paint and a few decorations. Remember, it's important to just focus on what the item looks like and what you can do with it. You can always change it up with a little paint. And the paints that I'm using for this is the Apple Barrel Glossy White, Red Apple, and Cameo Pink. You will be amazed on what paint and a little decoration can do. Wait until the end so you can see how this beautiful piece turned out. Now I'll be using more of that Valentine's cardstock paper and now I'll be just cutting it to size and fitting it in the middle of this box. I know you can get a kissing booth stand decor in any store really, but I mean, what's the fun in that? If you can create your own and just have fun with it. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to stick around. I do a lot of DIYs, home decor, party decorations, and all budget friendly DIYs. I believe we can make our homes a beautiful place to live in and it doesn't have to break the bank. You can make beautiful things on a budget. So I am just here to give you all some inspiration and ideas and making things simple but yet beautiful. So if that's something that you're interested in, then make sure you stick around. You don't want to miss my Valentine's Tear Tray Decorate With Me video that's coming up very, very soon. This kissing booth sign, I cut it out with my Cricut machine and the vinyl that I'm using is also from Dollar Tree and I thought it was so perfect for that top piece. Now I'm just playing around with it to see exactly where I'm happy with it. I did it off camera, but I sealed all my vinyl with some Mod Podge so I know it sticks on well. I decided I wanted the border to also um, be pink, so I'm putting a little bit of that cameo pink on the border as well. And this kiss me sign, I cut it out from one of the pages on that Valentine's cardstock paper pack. Now I'll be adding this heart ribbon that I also got from Dollar Tree through all the border. And I think it was the perfect addition to this kissing booth stand. I'm just adding here the last few touches. Thank you guys so much for watching if you stayed until this far in the video and I hope this video gave you tons of inspiration and ideas on things you could do for your Valentine's tear tray. And if you do decide to do any of them, please tag me on my social media. I would love to see your results. This is how my kissing booth stand turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you back here real soon.